Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So I'm starting to get a lot of milk and I don't drink that much and either does Miss Juniper so I'm going to make some cheese It's gonna be fun <laughs> So you want to put about one liter, at least that's what I do, of milk into a pot and then you put it on medium to low heat. Then in a separate bowl, I usually grab a fresh lemon and I squeeze it out till I get about one third of a cup. If there's not quite enough, then I will top it up with lemon juice itself. And make sure that you take out the I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. So once you start to see it steam, then you know you're getting close. You want to continually mix it. I don't have a thermometer on hand, so I'm just going off of how I know. Once it starts to heat up, you will get a little film of milk. I usually either take it out or just mix it in. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Another indication is also bubbles off all around the corners. But it's steaming real good now, so I'm going to put the lemon juice inside. And then you continuously mix it. And as you can see, it is starting to separate. Yum, yum, yum. Look at those chunks. Take it off the heat and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. So you either want a piece of cheesecloth. I use this cloth because it's got a good pattern on it. You'll want a spoon and a big pot. Take the cheesecloth and put it inside and then drain it out. Then once it's drained, fold up the cheesecloth, tie it up, and put the spoon in the middle. And then let it hang for about an hour or so. And while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna feed a goat, pet her, and have some cuddles. Now that it's been around an hour and a half, I'm going to take it out and unravel it. Then I'm going to grab a small container and some salt for some taste. 
split it all up, put salt in there, and then press it down. And there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. Looks like the quail eggs are doing well. Most of them are fertile. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.